Okay, this this case is okay to talk about the Kardashians. We are Baby. lifting the band. Baby is so cute. Baby girl for the Kardashian West clan. Topping our entertainment headlines. That's right. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West welcoming their third child by surrogate earlier this week. The two were reportedly in the room for the delivery. This is the second girl for the couple. So far, they haven't released the newborn's name. The baby girl now has a sister to is a sister to Saint and North. Star Wars. Huge worldwide hit, except in China. We heard from China over the uh, weekend. Mm. Star Wars, just, it's not doing well. So bad, in fact, that they have dropped it from theaters. Sales plummeted 92% in its second weekend at the box office. The popular sci-fi flick has brought in more than $600 million worldwide. China, the second largest movie industry after the U.S., so you have to take this seriously. You do, uh, but doing really well is the lovable Paddington Bear, taking in top spot on Rotten Tomatoes. Paddington 2, the second installment in the series, has a 100% rating on the movie review site. It's also the fourth movie to do so, uh, behind other children's movies, such as Toy Story 2. What, the, what were the other ones, uh, the other movies that got 100%? What was it, Lady Bird? And uh, Man on a Wire, uh, I believe, as well. All got 100%. Well, maybe I'll have to watch it now. I like that. Anyway, here's more entertainment now with Entertainment City. I'm Debo Brown for Entertainment City. It started with the slow speed police chase of O.J. Simpson. Now, the next season of American Crime Story is taking it to new heights with the murder of Gianni Versace. The highly anticipated second season follows the aftermath of the fashion designer's death and the search for serial killer Andrew Cunanan, played by Darren Chris. For Chris, it took him to a much darker role than his previous stint as a high school glee singer. The process is always the same. Uh, I treat them all with the same currency. It's uh, now I'm not saying a, a singing teenager and, and, a, and a spree killer are the same, but I'm an actor. Ricky Martin took on the role of Antonio D'Amico, the boyfriend of Versace, a role that was very important for Martin to play. One of the beautiful things about this story is that you have this very powerful man so in love with his partner and making the decision to actually acknowledge the fact that they've been together for 15 years, let's make this public. That, that meant the world to me as a gay man and to also to me as an actor to be part of that kind of scene. The season premiere airs at 10 p.m. tonight on FX Canada. Girls can do anything a boy can do. And coming out on top of the Canadian Screen Award nominations, and with an E as it's known internationally, nabbed 13 nominations including Best TV Drama. The Netflix series is based on the book Anne of Green Gables by Prince Edward Island writer Lucy Maud Montgomery. We're all at war, so you know, look, we can find over three corners or we can get a piece of all the action. City's Bad Blood picked up three nominations, with Maxime Watt and Kim Coates getting nominated for Lead Actress and Lead Actor. I, I think this is my fourth nomination, Very Lucky Boy. I actually don't think I, I, I should be up here without them, and maybe they shouldn't be up there without me, I'm not sure. but. Uh, that's the way it goes. I'm just so proud of that series and what Mark Montefiore did and Natalie and Rodriguez and Rogers and City. This year's awards will boast a solid slate of work from women, including the all-female team behind City Line, hosted by Tracy Moore, which was nominated in the category of Best Talk Program or Series. In film, Ava grabbed eight CSA nominations. The drama, which follows an Iranian teenager reveling against society, is up for best film, cinematography, and original screenplay. Band favorite Hockey Night in Canada's Ron McLean also grabbed a nomination for best sports host. The Canadian Screen Awards take place March 11th. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.